out, my minions? We are back with something special. Diablo 3. We're going to do Diablo 3 20th anniversary kind of walkthrough. I've just started a brand new freaking monk. There. There we go. Back up. So, it doesn't really tell you how to get there. Simple enough. Tristan, old ruins. And you cannot be playing the story. I was making that mistake going, where the hell is it, damn thing? So. Basically, you gotta go to old ruins. And... Oh, wait, no. You gotta click on... I have a feeling. Click on there. And you wander down. Oh, look! Looky, looky. And you're down to the pixelated. This cannot be opened yet. See, they shouldn't be dead. That's the annoying bit. So, they've come through, done the sprites on it, hooking around. Let's see what we got. <sighs> I cannot open this. I'm two minds about this right now. You're basically reskinned over Diablo three. You're running around with Diablo three character. The amount of effort they've done to put this into this. To create it. Again. Dead cow. Okay. And I think it's cool, a lot of nostalgia and stuff, because Diablo is Diablo, the original Diablo is one of my all time favorite games. So, we're going to come down. Okay. Labyrinth level one. Healing well. The sanctity of this place has been foul. me to new heights they they went to a lot of trouble to do this I give them credit for that but <sighs> my issue is They still don't understand. They My path becomes clearer. Okay, one second. Yeah, that's what I want. Flashing tail kick, definitely. We don't have a breath of heaven yet. 
They still don't understand what made Diablo Diablo. And that is the problem with Blizzard right now. This is uh, nostalgia. But with Diablo, it was almost like a rogue game. It didn't even start out as an action RPG with that whole thing starting out. It started out with is option sound. Let's turn them down just a little bit more. Ambient and music. There we go. Better. They don't understand. They don't understand what has made Diablo Diablo. It's not the collection. It's not the the grinding. It was the unique story. This fight is over. I need healing. Huh. I healed. What the hell? Get my body back. Uh, and it was... Raised me to new heights. It, it was the story, it was the gameplay itself of unrelentless. It's hard to explain. <clears throat> it makes me feel like this team, they've done, I mean, they put a lot of effort into this. And it's a bit strange. Why? I don't understand why. <clears throat> For us, the fans of this series, I mean, the true, real deep down fans, Diablo 3 came out and it was a massive disappointment. I'm sorry, I'm not going to sugarcoat it anything like that. It was. Plain and simple. <sighs> because it wasn't Diablo. It didn't feel like Diablo. It didn't have that crushing sense of I don't want to barter with you. I don't want to talk to you. All I want to do is kill you. That's what Diablo captured. That unnever and that scariness of do I push it a little bit further down? I can't get I can't go further into this labyrinth because you know what? I'm gonna die and I'm gonna lose everything. So you have to be strategic about things. How far you push yourself down. And then when you had your friends pop in, boom! It it was utterly made the things that that, that much more difficult, but it was that much more fun. And you had to be strategic about how you did things and how you took down the different, the different sections of the game. And I even said this about Diablo 2. Diablo 2 didn't have that feeling until about late first act, but it finally got that crushing feeling of overwhelmingness. Or Diablo 3, where I know. We're gonna make these guys like superheroes and throw them into this nuts, not what, and recon a lot of stuff that happened in Diablo. The nameless hero. What was so brilliant about that in the story? If you've not played Diablo, I'm sorry. Spoilers. Nameless hero goes in, fights his way tooth and nail all the way down to Diablo 
kills Diablo, grabs a soul stone, and shoves it into his head. It was one of those what the fuck moments in gaming. It was one of the first of what the f just happened. How did this, what did I just do? And uh, for them to recon it, go, oh, it was his son, the king's son did this. No. Nameless hero, you did that. And for me, I'm, I'm loving the feeling of this, but you know what I would have loved? Honestly, pure and simple, what I would have loved? And I'm, I'll continue more down. And wander around and do the event and stuff like that and do more of my feelings on it. But a full revamp of Diablo 1. Full on revamp of Diablo 1. That's what the fans want. This is cool. It's not Diablo 1. That's for damn sure. And with that said, my minions, you guys and gals like what you see, please subscribe. Throw me on your favorite smash that like button. Comments, questions, want to game with me, want to see me stream, let me know. And until next time, keep on gaming.